Dear children, welcome to today's class. We are going to talk about glucose metabolism in our body. The food what we eat, it contains different types of nutrients in it. These nutrients are mostly converted in our body in the form of glucose. This glucose, it will be retained in the blood for quite some time. There is a normal level of glucose in our body. It is 80 to 120 mg per deciliter of blood. This is the normal blood glucose range in our body. When we are eating good food, when we are eating good food, for example, you can see it here, you are eating a very good food, a healthy food. Naturally, what will happen, the blood glucose level, it will increase. We call that as hyperglycemia. The, in the blood, the glucose level increases. Whenever the blood glucose level increases, Increase in the blood glucose level, we call it as hyperglycemia. High level of blood glucose is there. We call that as excess glucose. Whenever there is excess glucose, it is there in our body. There is an important organ, an endocrine gland called pancreas is there. This is the pancreas. The pancreas, it releases an enzyme called, a hormone called insulin. The pancreas, it releases an hormone called insulin. Whenever there is an excess glucose, the insulin hormone, which is produced from the beta cells, from the beta cells of pancreas, it converts the excess glucose into glycogen into glycogen and store that in liver as well as in adipose tissues this is how the glucose metabolism is maintained so whenever whenever the blood glucose level increases the beta cells of pancreas, it releases a hormone called insulin. This insulin hormone from the pancreas, insulin, it converts the excess glucose here and into glycogen and store that in adipose cells as well as in the muscles, as well as in the liver. So this is how the glucose metabolism is maintained. Suppose we are in fasting or we are doing some vigorous exercise. Whenever we are doing some vigorous exercise or when you are in fasting, the blood glucose level it lowers. That condition we call it as hypoglycemia, decreasing blood sugar. That's called hypoglycemia. Whenever the blood glucose level is low, hypoglycemia, the alpha cells of pancreas, the alpha cells of pancreas, it secretes a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon. This glucagon, it converts the glycogen that is stored in the liver adipose tissues. Glycogen is there. So what will happen here? Now comes the hormone glucagon this glucagon hormone it is from the alpha cells of pancreas alpha cells of pancreas it converts the glycogen that is stored in the liver and adipose tissues it convert them into glucose thereby the glucose level is maintained whenever excess glucose is there the insulin from the beta cells of pancreas, it converts them into glucose and maintains the normal blood glucose level. 
whenever the blood glucose level is low glucagon a hormone from the alpha cells of pancreas it converts the glycogen that is stored in the liver that is stored in the muscles that is stored in the adipose tissues into glucose thereby the normal blood glucose level is maintained so you can see it in a diagrammatic representation here whenever blood glucose is low, low the pancreatic cells the alpha cells secretes glucagon this glucagon it breaks down the glycogen present in the liver into glucose thereby it will become a normal if suppose there is no insulin hormone there is no insulin is secreted what will happen the glucose level further increases in the blood the glucose level further increases in the blood and always they'll have high level of blood glucose instead of the normal level high level of blood glucose it will be there in the blood so high level of glucose it will be there in the blood when due to lack of insulin hormone if high level of blood glucose level is maintained we call that has hyperglycemia so whenever we are eating food the glucose level increases that is quite normal if there is lack of insulin if there is lack of insulin if the blood glucose level is always higher always at peak that is called as hyperglycemia that hyperglycemia it leads to a disease called diabetes mellitus we call them not commonly as sugar high level of sugar that disease is called as diabetes mellitus so in our body we have a mechanism to maintain blood glucose level to a normal level because of the pancreatic hormones insulin and glucagon